The Megalodon is often perceived as the deadliest sea creature to have ever roamed Earth. With its 50 feet in length, this prehistoric whale killer became very famous through the findings of its massive teeth. But today, I am here to reveal the truth. I'm about to tell you that this creature was exactly the opposite of strong. Believe it or not, the Megalodon was actually weak. And here's why. As you probably know, the Megalodon was absolutely massive. The whale shark, which is currently the largest living shark species and the largest living fish, has a maximum size of about 33 feet and weight of 40,000 pounds. Pretty big, right? Well, the most widely accepted estimate involves a size of around 55 feet long and a whopping weight of 118,000 pounds, almost triple the weight of the whale shark. But some sources talk about size estimates that entail a 66 feet long shark that would have weighed around 200,000 pounds. 200,000. Can you imagine? In fact, the Megalodon is the largest fish of all time that we know of today. Sure, that is impressive and all, but now to the real problem. This is simply too big. A creature of that size is very impressive, but it is just not always good for a predator, especially to make any swift or fast movements. On top of that, just imagine the amount of food this monster had to eat. The Meg's favorite food consisted mostly of whales. Over time and due to climate and nutrient changes, these whales became much less present. Also, there was growing competition since smaller and faster predators, like the great white shark of today, were deadlier and could kill more efficiently than the Meg. But wait! It's not only the small predators that were causing problems. You see, the Megalodon was the largest fish, but definitely not the largest sea creature. There were many others that were almost as big or even bigger than the Megalodon. An example is the Livyatan. The Meg was feeding on whales, but its biggest competition was another whale. But not just any whale. These were giant toothed whales, relatives of the modern sperm whale that rivaled Megalodon in both size and ferocity. At 56 feet long, it possessed multiple adaptations that would have assisted in hunting, including massive teeth that were amongst the largest teeth for any animal known. It would also hunt in packs or pods and even had a broad skull that could be used as a battering ram. It is very fair to assume these two mega carnivores would have encountered each other as well, since they lived in the same regions and at the same time. The idea of Liviatan versus Megalodon has been the subject of much debate amongst paleo nerds in recent years, with sides being formed for each species, but the Liviatan still probably could have killed Megalodons and their juveniles, especially if they were hunting in packs contrary to the lonely Megalodon. Can you imagine being a normal fish sharing the water with these two mega carnivores? Yet this is not even the largest problem of the whole situation. The thing about the Megalodon is that, despite being one of the most famous extinct animals of all time, it is also one of the least understood. Paleontologists only have teeth and the occasional vertebrae to work with, which presents many gaps in understanding Megalodon. Using teeth to make size estimates doesn't always produce accurate results, and that's why it's difficult for paleontologists to be completely accurate. While most people see Megalodon as a huge, great white shark, nobody truly knows its proper body shape and proportions, or even its appearance. This is why many often exaggerated assumptions, especially regarding its strength, are made. But one thing might still be unclear for you, and it's in the title. How is the Megalodon weak? The location of the bites, which are concentrated on the flippers, demonstrate the deadly pattern utilized by Megalodon. Biting off the flippers 
and leaving its prey stranded in the open ocean, the bite force of Megalodon, a whopping 40,000 pounds per square inch, would make short work of any whale. That bite force was by far the greatest of any animal or fish ever. So, you might be thinking, how is this weak? The truth is that the Megalodon was weak in terms of vulnerability. The species, especially its size and behavior, allowed for many vulnerabilities, like the dependence on mega prey or the competitors it was facing. These weaknesses are what in the end caused the Megalodon's extinction. Or do you still believe it is out there?